What is a percentage? Let's start by looking at the word percent. Per cent. Where do we use this word per? You might see it when buying food. It could say 56 pence per kilogram, or a car was traveling at 10 meters per second. So per is the same as saying for every, or out of. 56 pence for every kilogram, 10 meters for every second. How about cent? Where have you seen cent? Cent comes up in a few places, such as century, representing 100 years, centimeter, where 100 centimeters makes a meter, cent as in American currency, where 100 cents makes a dollar. What is the link between these words? They all have something to do with 100. So cent represents 100. Combining the two words, percent means for every 100 or out of 100. So when you see, for example, 20%, that means 20 for every 100. What does that look like? Let's say we have 100 squares. To represent 20% or 20 for every 100, we shade in 20 squares. There are 20 squares for this group of 100 squares. This is the same as saying 20 squares out of 100 squares are shaded in. What would 34% look like? 34% is the same as saying 34 out of 100. 34 squares is shaded in out of 100 squares. Percentages can be written as decimals. 100% is a way of representing a whole. What other way can we represent a whole? We could use the number one. If they both represent the same amount, how can we change a percentage into a decimal? Well, if we were to break one into 100 parts, what would each part represent? 1 divided by 100 would equal to 0 0.01. With that understanding, let's try and figure out what 30% is as a decimal. We know 30% is 30 out of 100, and we know each part out of 100 is equal to 0 0.01. So 30% would equal to 30 lots of 0 0.01. This is equal to 0 0.3. What would 12% equal to as a decimal? 12 lots of 0 0.01 equals to 0 0.12. Have a go at representing 45% as a decimal. Forty-five percent as a decimal is zero point four five. 